All right, hello everybody. Now I'm gonna say after that, this is this is not the normal you would expect me. Normally when I post a video, you think, oh he's gonna do something music, he's gonna do a cover. I want to do something a little out of my norm. And uh, I know my target demographic is on a very specific thing, it's mostly music, but this is something that if any of you who follow me, or any subscribers who know of me, that understand my what my interest is, my interest obviously is of sports, more or less the sport of hockey. Now, I did a sports thing on an old channel a while ago, back when the Eagles made it against the New Orleans Saints and they had the double doink against the Chicago Bears. This is something similar to that, but it's not about a doink. This is something that happened, literally happened yesterday. And yesterday was the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs, and I was up, I was up last night, and I saw something that... I actually have a video pulled up here. I have the footage of something was it was game one between the Canadians and the Jets and what happened shocked me that this that this even that this was even allowed that this happened so before I show anybody how gruesome this is and I'm gonna slow it down for all of its per all intents of purposes so you can guys can just see just how shocking that that, that this happened that, this, that, that something like this happened so it's down to 4-3. The, the Canadians are leading this game by a goal. Winnipeg just got one back and makes it 4-3. And all of a sudden, Montreal throws the puck down. It's iced. A little guy by the name of Jake Evans, well, not really little, he comes wraps around the net. He comes wraps around the net and goes for an empty net attempt. He doesn't see Blake's uh, Mark Shifley, Jets forward, just barrel him. And I'm going to show you exactly that has happened, and I'm going to slow it down in all of its glory here. So I'm going to pull up on screen. On screen, this is what happened. So this, here is the play here. So Jake, so Jake Evans here, he's rolling down here. He's beat icing, he's beat icing. He goes around the puck. Now pause right here. Look at this. So here's Evans. Evans has no idea at this point. This is Shifley. Shifley is bracing for the impact. Already off the bat, this is going to end badly. For those who are very, uh, very sensitive to stuff like this, watch this hit. Yeah, that is a deadly hit. So, yeah. And now the Habs are going after him, the Habs are getting off to him. Ehlers is one of the guys there is trying to stop everybody from running his, from running him over. But you get the point, so... All in all, he was set off on it. Evans was sent on a stretcher, and... In my opinion, I'm not much of a Habs fan, but I'm sure Habs fans out there are shaking their heads, are freaking out. And I, I wish the best. I wish the best for you guys. And plus, I'm hoping best for Montreal this series. I want to see them get far enough to get to the conference finals. I want to see what Montreal can do. And this was a game that Montreal Canadiens fans were happy about until Shifley did this. Now today I saw I saw a lot of people saying that Shifley's hit was gutless. That Shifley Shifley knew what he was doing. Some say that I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a 50-50 here. I say it's kind of gutless, but I also say I, I say he was acting just out of sheer anger. That. He knew his team was down at that point. He was going to try everything to stop it, and more or less, almost paralyzing the guy from the neck down. And that was the nastiest hit I think I've ever seen in a player that was not even clean. Ah, dirty hits happen a lot, but that is that is as ugly as they get. And I mean, and you think of your best players. Think of the hardest hitting people like Ryan Reeves of Vegas. Um, Nikita Zadorov of Colorado, who are both in. Or, heck, think of someone like Tom Wilson. And I'm going to explain something about that. Tom Wilson of the Washington Capitals. That's their game, is big hits and doing this stuff. I think something like this... Now, people are saying, if the refs do not call, or the NHL itself, or Bedman does not give Shifley a suspension for the rest of the series, some ain't right. And here's how I see it. I feel as if this and the Ryan Reeves hit on Ryan Graves in Game 1, in which the Avs won 7-1 in, De in Denver, I feel as if their call on Reeves' suspension was a direct response to them not understanding what the call was against Tom Wilson 
against the cat against the Rangers. In that game, Wilson was trying to fight two guys. He fought Artemi Panarin and Pavel Buchnevich. He's and he's he's grabbing a guy by the air. He's put, beating him on the ice. He could have got seriously hurt. And he's he's laughing at the guys. He's staring him down like you want to go. They only fined him five thousand dollars. And I don't know if it was coincidental or the Rangers decided this. They went ahead and hired, they fired their general manager and their assistant general manager. And then once the season ended, they they fired David Quinn, their head coach, and their assistant head coach. So they got rid of everybody after that. I'm not saying that's a direct response, but given that it happened a day after, which, the, and guess, the next day that the Rangers and the Capitals fought, which was Wednesday night hockey, 100 minutes of penalty minutes were assessed. I feel like both the hit, the Graves and this responses to the NHL or the Players Association not understanding how badly, how egregious they were in not calling Wilson's hit a suspension. I love the sport of hockey. I love it to death. But when I see stuff like this, it becomes, people have said it before, it becomes more than hockey. It almost breaks its integrity of a sport. It's supposed to be a fascinating sport. It's one of the fastest sports of all the big four. People get hit almost daily. And players like this are learned to shrug off this stuff. But when you have a person like Mark Scheifele, who is a student, when he goes home, he watches other people. He watches other players. He watches other teams from years ago. And he studies them. He analyzes them piece by piece. He is a, he has a high IQ for it. For, they're not saying no hockey players are smart. He's not an enforcer. He is a forward, and he loves the game to death. But when he does something like this, you, it makes you question about his integrity. Of something like this, especially when this is something, this is the playoffs where the games are important. Playoff where you make one wrong move, it can cost you the game and the series. When you do stuff like this, it really makes you question, it really puts people, a fan base of people who love this player... Make him question, do I really like this player after what he's done now? For anybody who knows or have seen it, I want y'all to look at it again. And how do you feel? I feel it's kind of gutless, but I feel like he just acted, and I've just... I'm mostly disappointed that a player like this decided... Such a great player like Shifley decided that this was the thing to do. Decided this was the thing I had to do. Anyways, what do y'all think? Do you think Shifley is worthy of this suspension? Or do you think the NHL it doesn't matter? I say it's worth it. I say after anything, uh, the last few suspensions and big hits we've had, the biggest three between Wilson, this, and the Ryan Reeves incident, I'm going to say this. This is worth the suspension. And if it's not for the rest of the series, the NHL doesn't, then this tells me the NHL really doesn't understand how the, its player safety is supposed to be. And no doubt, when this season is over and the new season, when the Seattle Kraken come in, chance if this is not talking about the next rule change, then something ain't going to be right about that. Anyways, it's food for thought. It's just, so again, something out of my norm, but it's something I love and addressing something I love. When you break it down to something like this, it becomes more of, it becomes more of a debate. So, what do you think? Is he willing of the panel? Is he willing of the suspension, or do you think it was just an? Um, think it was just a coincidence. Anyways, anyways, a new video will come up soon. Hope you all enjoy it. Take the rest of the day and just food for thought.